Hi girl, I have some good news. I just came home from my uh, ultrasound follow-up for viability and the baby is measuring exactly seven weeks. It's five weeks exactly when I had the ovulation pain, so it's like right on track. And the heart rate is 128, which I think is good. Um, they said they said that everything was measuring like perfect. It's um, 0.95 centimeters big, which is under a centimeter. And um, I had a couple little cysts and stuff, but I'm not worried about that. Um, what else? You can't really tell. It looks like a little blob, but let me show you real quick. The glare. Yeah. You can't really tell anything anyway. But and I got to hear the heartbeat, which was amazing. Like I was so excited, I was in shock. And I, I brought my camera with me and I was gonna video it, but they don't allow you to at the place that I went to. I'm like, darn, like if you only knew how much it, you know awesome, like I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so excited and nervous. <sighs> okay. So I'm officially doing a pregnancy vlog because I feel a lot better now. Um, so I'm exactly seven weeks and I'll do a belly shot. So right there you can, sorry it's so wobbly. <laughs> a little bloated right in here, but that's it and then So that's it. So, I'm super excited. I haven't even told my fiance yet, so <laughs> you guys are lucky. I know that I'm going to post this after I tell him, but at least I thought of you. <laughs> um, you're up there in my priority. I already talked to my mom and, and two of my good friends, but they're the only people that know. My mom and my two good friends. and. My fiance is going to tell his sister now because I told him I don't want anyone else knowing because I don't want to jinx ourselves and stuff. So um, he's going to tell her probably tomorrow, but she's got to keep her mouth shut just in case. And what else? Oh, when I saw my doctor that when I first started going to this place in January, she was like the sweetest woman. And um, she remembered that I needed to be on. She saw me sitting there with the picture. I had, there's four of these, and I was waiting to get my blood tested because they're going to check my HCG levels and my progesterone. And she remembered me from like January, and was like, "Oh my God, congratulations!" And like she came up and she gave me a hug and stuff, which is cool. I love when doctors like are more personable and like they're more like a real person and don't act like, "Oh, I'm in a white lab coat," you know. Um, nothing against doctors, but I just love when they're more like. I'm that type of person that you can hug me, like, if you, if you are crying and you're, well, you know, like, you're up for it, I will hug you, like, I don't know, just how I am, and, um, so I was so excited, and she was like, remember, you got that, you're in the suppositories, right, of progesterone, and, um, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I am, I am, so, she's like, good, she's like, I'm so happy for you, and she was, like, all excited, like, genuinely, she wasn't, like, phony or, or just saying, like, oh, congrats. Like, she was like, oh, my God. So um, it made me feel really good. And, and the girl that takes my blood, too, she was super excited. She gave me a hug, too. And so it feels good when, like, people who have watched you go through, you know, like, at this office, they saw me go through one loss. Um, and so they remember and they know how hard it's been. And so I really appreciate it when people... Or rooting for you, just like you girls. And all the um, I just want to thank you for all the positive comments and trying to keep my head up and, and calm my nerves and everything. This past week has been awful. Like I, I was super sick. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, but anyways, I was um, super sick this week because I was on the progesterone suppositories, but they were compounded from a local pharmacy. And I mean that's a mess. 
everybody knows if you're in suppositories, it's a mess. But you know what? You'll do whatever you have to do. And um, so my nurse practitioner that I've been seeing this, site, this pregnancy, she prescribed to me Prometrium to take orally. So I took it for a week, and I started getting so sick. And then, of course, I looked up Dr. Google online, and I found out that Prometrium does make you sick. And that they are not quite positive, but they think that the hormone progesterone is responsible for morning sickness. So I was like, well, clearly my I'm taking too much or something. It's right, right into my bloodstream when you take it orally. And um, so I was like, uh, I don't know. So I, I looked it up, and I, I switched. I've taken that same exact. I've taken Prometrium before vaginally, the same dosage and everything, previous pregnancies. And um, so I knew that I, instead of taking it orally, I could take it vaginally, or put it in uh, vaginally, whatever. And so I did that, and I did that for two days. To see, and it got a little better, but um, I, I just couldn't. I've lost four pounds, and I know that's awful. I'm supposed to be gaining weight. I mean, I know I'm supposed to gain a lot in the first trimester, but um, I was, I couldn't eat anything. I could barely drink anything. And so I went back to the original suppositories. The compounded from the local pharmacy. They're $40 a month. The other one was free on my insurance. But you know what? The $40 is worth me being able to gain weight, give the baby nutrients, and, you know, be able to eat um, at least one good meal and crackers. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> so, um, dealing with morning sickness, my savior has been um, salting crackers with no salt on it because sometimes the salt just, I can't handle it right now. And I can't even drink plain water, though. But I went, you know, people always tell me, like, oh, ginger ale. Well, I haven't drank soda in 12 years, and I don't want to break my little, like, goal that I set for myself just to not drink soda anymore, or pop, or whatever you call it, wherever you're from. I know the northerners call it pop. But um, I didn't want to get ginger ale. So I went to the store, and I bought ginger root, the actual root. It looks like a root. And I cut off a piece, I peeled it, I cut it in little pieces, and I put it in a pan with some um, filtered water, and I boiled it. And I boiled it for just a couple minutes, just enough, and then I let it steep, just like I was making a tea or something, and let it steep for a little bit. And then I would, once the water would cool down just a little, then I would drink that. And I would carrying a glass water bottle with little chunks of ginger in it and, and water and stuff and just drinking a little bit throughout the day, like constantly, and that's really been helping. So any ladies out there who are dealing with morning sickness, if you don't want to do the calories from all the sugar from ginger ale or something, just go to the, your local grocery store. It doesn't have to be a Whole Foods or a specialty store. Your local grocery store, uh, store should sell it in like the produce, like where everything is. You might find it near like maca root or uh, I'm trying to think what else like the carrot section. I don't know what your grocery stores, but they they were like I think it came out to a like dollar. And um, sorry, I'm in the gym bathroom and I heard someone. <laughs> but um, okay. Well, I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. But I'm just super excited and positive thoughts and um. Symptom-wise, it's just been the nausea and, like, heartburn feeling. And you can see my face break out, but that's what you get. <laughs> and, like, my chest is breaking out. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Just give me a healthy baby. Um, okay, well, I, thanks again for everybody who's been there you know, these past couple of weeks and rooting me on and helping me. I, I really, really appreciate it. And baby dust to everybody who's still trying. Um, sticky glue for everybody that is pregnant. And um, anything else out there. Sorry for anybody who's had recent losses. You will get there. And I know I'm not in the clear yet either, but... Um, it's gonna happen. We all, we all of us are gonna have children. We are gonna have babies. I'm, I know it's gonna happen. It's just you gotta plug away. If you, you know, you have an, a low, you gotta keep going. This is pregnancy number four for me, and I still don't have any children. I've had all three. I've had three losses in the past, and 
you have to keep your head up. You can do it. We're all going to do it. And I'm just so glad that I decided to start making these vlogs so I can help other people out there and get the support as well. Um, and I look forward to making more friends and watching more videos and stuff. So, alright. Well, thanks for watching. Bye, girls.